do we do? Well, I'm gonna check to see which way the wind's blowing. I see smoke right there, so I know that the wind is coming from this direction. And I need to land into the wind. So my LZ is below me. One of the cool things about a powered paraglider, which is PPG, paramotor, is that when we have a motor, we're powered, so we're a powered paraglider. When we have a motor out, guess what? We are a paraglider. So I uh, have my trims all the way in, so I am floating down as gently as I can right now, and I see that I want to get as close as I can to our school front of my toe and you can see that Chris has just landed right there also with his quad. So I need to make sure I don't uh, run into him. When we make a big 360 we lose a lot of altitude so see where we are right now? So we make a 360 as we're making a 360. careful when we're doing that. Another thing that we can do is use tip stirring. Tip stirring, in fact, I'm pulling the tip right now and I'm turning a little bit more flat, but I'm still losing altitude. Anytime that you turn, you're losing altitude. Well, hell, we're not on power, so we're losing altitude. So the sun's right in my eyeballs. It's hard to see where I am. building. Kind of swoop in a little bit. Make sure my hands are up when I swoop. So I want to have all the power I can, all the um, flare already. There's my flare. I turned around and as you can see it just flop down because there's like no wind on the ground and that was a fun landing from I don't know how high I was uh, motor out simulation and landed exactly where I wanted to land you know next time I'm gonna throw a quarter out and I'm gonna land perfectly on a quarter from a thousand feet But that's a bit different All right, well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you next time as we run into this guy.